to go quiet. This the new reality after suspending play until further notice because of the coronavirus. The NCAA pulling the plug on March Madness. The tidal wave of historic decisions unfolding after the virus took center court just before tip-off. Utah All-Star Rudy Gobert, who was not in the arena, tested positive for the coronavirus. The game tonight has been postponed. As fans flooded out of the stadium, concern after Gobert's Monday press conference where when asked about the virus, he jokingly touched every microphone before leaving. Now teammate Donovan Mitchell also tested positive. Gobert has apologized. Economically, the impact is vast and broad, not only on the teams and the league themselves, but also on the concession workers in the stands and also on the local businesses that surround the stadium. Tom Hanks and white Rita Wilson, now the public faces of the pandemic after testing positive and being hospitalized in Australia. We have uh, world-class doctors uh, that are determined to uh, look after them and give them the best possible care. In New York, even the bright lights of Broadway are set to go dark for a month. Talk shows like Elf. No touch, no even shaking my hand. We'll take without audiences Everything. for now. The future of American sports and entertainment in limbo as the coronavirus reshapes the way we live and play. And now comes word of more closers. Universal Studios and Disneyland here in Los Angeles say they will shut down operations this weekend. Francis? Miguel, thank you. Now the pandemic overseas. The new center of the coronavirus storm is in Europe. Here's Chief Foreign Correspondent Richard Engel. The CDC says Europe is the new epicenter of the epidemic, with 70% of new cases originating here. And countries are falling like dominoes, one shutting down after another. Ireland reporting its first coronavirus death, now closing schools. The Irish Prime Minister with President Trump. We need to do this for a couple of weeks uh, to make sure the virus doesn't spread. In Italy, the death toll rising over a thousand. Officials already banning most public gatherings and ordering a three feet separation in public. NBC's Matt Bradley is there. Every shop and business in this country shut down, including iconic Italian brands like Gucci. Only grocery stores and pharmacies are allowed to stay open. Shaking fewer hands. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announcing he will self-isolate after his wife got flu symptoms after a trip to the UK. And in Germany, Americans are struggling to get home. I feel like there's a lot of panic and I don't really know. <laughs> The one place that seems to have passed through the worst of the virus is China, where it first broke out in December. The last patients were discharged from hospitals China crash-built. China used the full force of its one-party state to contain this virus, including locking down Wuhan, a city of 11 million people. It did work, but it was extremely um, draconian, and, uh, and I just don't know that we need to be quite that aggressive. And how long the peak outbreak might last in the States, experts tell us weeks or maybe months. All right, our thanks to Richard Engel for that report. And the coronavirus has taken an absolute wrecking ball to Wall Street. Dow futures are regaining some footing after the worst day for markets since Black Monday in 1987. Another drop could make it the Dow's worst week of all time. Yesterday's freefall forced another 15-minute halt in trading for the second time this week. The Dow bleeding over 2,300 points before the close. Right, a phrase you may be hearing more about, flattening the curve. It's been circulating in the media.